Welcome to another 902 Gaming video. And today I'm going to be showcasing some games from this particular deck here. Uh, it is a blue-white mid-range. I don't know exactly what that means, but um, you take a look and you can see all the stuff that's going on here. Um, I did play a bunch of this and unfortunately it didn't quite work out. I think there's the numbers are off by a bit. Um, essentially what it wants to do is it wants to draw a patchwork automaton, uh, into a Thran spider, which makes a token. And then you can ramp into some of your bigger spells like cityscape leveler, or you have Urza, or you have the might, the, uh, the might stone and the meek stone or weak stone rather. Uh, and then you have Teferi to draw a bunch of cards and wandering emperor to, uh, deal with your opponent's threats and potentially be a finisher. Um, some of the cards that... I thought were actually ended up being pretty good in the deck where Thran Spider was good. Patrick Automaton was good. Um, the matchups that I didn't have Patrick Automaton on turn two uh, were really bad. So uh, there is, at the end of the video, there is a, a redux of the deck where I kind of took apart most of the stuff that I thought was kind of bad. So if you want to, you should be able to just check this timestamp and go to there and see where it ended up. Uh, and get some final thoughts on the deck as well. Um, but yeah, anyways, hopefully you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. All right, so let's go to the deck list first and foremost uh, and see what they got going on. Um, so this deck list here I pulled out from, I think it was MTG Millie. It was a me melee. I don't know. Uh, I'll see if I, I'll post the link down below, I guess, where this tournament was. Uh, this deck didn't do that well, I don't think. I think it ended up at the bottom. Uh, it might have been 3-2 maybe or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but it looked interesting. It looked something completely different from what uh, we've been seeing and what we've been playing. This is not one of the interesting cards that I never thought of. Uh, essentially, it ramps you. It also ramps your opponent. And if they're playing an artifact, they probably have to side it out. Uh, or they are playing artifacts. You'll probably have to side it out for something else. Um, and then you actually have something to do with that extra mana. Same as Urza, basically. It's just like a proxy for Urza. Um, you can reveal an artifact. I'm assuming trying to get something like Cityscape Leveler. Uh, I'm not sure why there's no... Um, the Phyrexian... What's it called? Portal? Portal to Phyrexia? I think it's called. Portal to Phyrexia, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Um, surprised that this card's not actually in the deck. Maybe they didn't have access to it. Maybe they didn't have any. Um, I know in the small amount of boxes and stuff that I opened, I didn't. I think I got one, maybe. Um, actually, I, uh, actually, I don't think I got any of these. I think this is the only mythic I didn't get any of. But anyway, uh, so I'm surprised that's not in here. I'm not really sure how this is going to do. Uh, as a 3-3 flyer, I mean, it's fine. 3-3 three, three flying lifelink, uh, it's not too bad. Actually, uh, it can give another creature flying too, I suppose. So either Vigilance or lifelink. Most likely lifelink. Um, but we'll see how it plays out. It's kind of interesting. Um, just something I wanted to try out that was a bit different than what I'm seeing played. Uh, it's a lot, right now, it's a lot of Grixis. It's a lot of the... Um, the blue red, uh, the iconoclast with uh, Sahili in the main. Um, some of them playing with the artifacts, some of them actually Grixis with Sahili in the main, and uh, like Oni Cult Anvil and stuff like that. So, I just wanted to play something different. That's what I've been seeing a lot of. So, I try to find decks that are like maybe a bit outside the meta and not just regurgitate other decks that other people might be playing. Um, I might do a video soon too. I actually was going to do, my next video was going to be Titania. or Yeah, Titania. And I don't think that card is quite worth it in standard. Not yet anyway. We're missing something like a really good Seder Wayfinder or um, like a really good Tarmogoyf, I guess. Although I didn't try the five mana Tarmogoyf. I guess. I don't think the deck the deck doesn't lend itself. Ooh. Uh I have the mulligan. 
I'm not going anywhere. That does a do nothing. And two eight drops, so. Uh. <sighs> okay, well. I had some really terrible hands, and now I'm playing against turn two Thalia, which is awful for me. Uh, if I don't draw another land, it's essentially game over at this point. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so. This is not a bad draw. Wish I got a couple plays. So. Or green white. Are they just playing the green white deck that I tried playing the other day? Maybe. Probably not. But. We'll see what they decide to do. Sometimes I can't determine if it's their connection that makes them slow or it's their just their play is slow. Or that if they're I wonder if they're just a bot. Hard to tell. Nice. No blocks. Well, doesn't really do anything. And of course my opponent is all non basic lands. That seems to be the way when I play four of these. Um, is this any artifact? Okay, it's any artifact. Uh, well, I'll play this. this. Cool. Tech. Let's see if this is actually going to do them anything. Feel, of course, yeah, they are Bant. Okay, so maybe they are the Bant Ascendancy deck that I played the other day that was atrocious. Atrocious? Atrocious. Okay, playing this. Another island, hey? Okay. So I'm going to play lands. And I have five mana available to me. So I can actually play this. Then I can actually draw a card, so. Um, yeah, we'll just end the turn. I'm going to draw here. I actually could have... No, I can't crew. Well, I can crew now if I want to block with the Reckoner Bank Buster, but likely won't do that. This actually can be used for Field of Ruin, too. That's interesting. And this can be used... Oh, that's not colorless. But they have Rire Effect, of course, so... They did manage to play that, which is pretty sweet. Yep. That probably means I just lose. But we'll see what happens. Sure. Uh, I'm going to draw before I decide if I'm going to trade there. Probably not going to trade, but they're going to create an attacker, which I will block. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Let's draw a card. Okay, that's not good. That's worse. Okay, so now I can create a... I can create a 3 mana or a 6 mana. What would I prefer? They probably have... Uh, destroy evil, so. Mm, yeah, I think I just go for it here. No, I think I just, I think I just tap her down for this. It was a 4-4, four, four. now they have two targets that they have to worry about. Uh, next, give it flying. Combat. Attack. Yeah, I think this card with um, the Portal to Phyrexia would be much better than the Cityscape Leveler. Although, given the Cityscape Leveler flying, it's pretty sweet. There's only one copy of this in the deck, though. But there's no way they're not playing Destroy Evil. Alright, I have to adjust something. Because I keep whacking the back of my head on 
I don't really like wearing my hat this way, but I, I keep whacking the brim of my hat on the back of my chair. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, I can still crew the bank buster if I wanted to. It could be playing depopulate, which again is fine. I still have the bank buster and another bank buster to draw cards with. This is the beginning of combat on my turn. Okay. Not each combat. So. Uh, one more creature means that they can cast Adeline. Or rather, Adeline will trade with the Seraph. Which I will trade if they do offer me the trade. I could have a removal spell too, but let's go like that. They could also untap. Untap two creatures and draw a card. Yep. Cool. Basically give their creatures vigilance. So that, this actually helps get around this pretty well. The only thing is now I don't think they can actually use Destroy Evil on this because the toughness is no longer four. They would have to try to target the Patchwork, but they can't because it has Ward. I'm pretty sure that's how it would still work. Same with this. They couldn't target either one of these with the uh, Destroy Evil. You're gonna rope me already? A little too early in the game for that, I think. I don't think there was actually any removal spells in this deck. I should probably pull the deck list up. Was I kind of go into a blind? I don't really pay attention to what was in it. I just kind of copy and paste it and said, "All right, let's go. Fire it up. Start playing." Well, are you going to find out if a deck is good or not? That's how I kind of found out the other day that the um, um, the Ascendancy deck was not good. So check, take a look at that video and see how that turned out. Um, the Super Friends, the Bant Super Friends deck that I posted a couple days ago. I'm trying to do these as regular as I used to every day, but life gets in the way a bit sometimes. So can't always do one every day. Well, that's not something I wanted. But. I now have seven mana to activate the spider. This card could be way better than I thought. It's like creating like a three mana mana rock that actually can block, which is and then actually kind of draw you a card. Up four. Uh, let's go with flying, I guess. Definitely have something over there. Uh, I think they can actually pay ward. Counter unless that ward, that player pays the ward cost. So it can actually be activated for ward. Probably should attack with both. Hmm. It would have been nine, put them to eight, and then next turn would have been lethal. Yeah. This could get big. I 
Just roping. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're just they're just roping. <laughs> uh, let's see if they can see it again. I bet you they will. Uh, I don't want Tezzeret in this matchup. I definitely want them more more of the depopulates. Um, let's see. Let's see here. I don't need to gate. I think I want this. And probably this. Um, I'm gonna cut down on the bank buster some. They're not really. Actually, I can just cut them all together. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, I probably don't want those at all. Hmm. And let's try this. And mm -hmm. I don't think I want to have temporary lockdown and these artifacts in my deck. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I want Tezzeret instead of Memory Deluge. Tezzeret can become a win condition, I guess, and still draw me a few cards. I think I can actually convert the um, sp Thran Spiders to 4-4s four as well. So the only way I have to deal with Adeline is depopulate, which it's not the best, but it's something. It's probably where destroy evil needs to come in from the sideboard. I mean, I don't temporary lockdown. The problem, the thing I have, with, the issue that I had with temporary lockdown was when I was playing against an opponent that was playing a lot of two drops. Ugh, they were also playing. Um, card that allowed them to destroy it when it came into play and then nothing happened so it's kind of terrible i thought it would actually even though they destroyed it in response it would actually clear the tokens out and they wouldn't be able to come back it doesn't even do that apparently it still it needs to still be in play Ugh. yeah i got to okay mm, yep That's not the best plan, but the land would be all right. If I draw land, I'm okay. Although, I guess this also kills Adeline as well. If I can ramp from the spider into this, it's not bad. It didn't seem to help them at all, so. But there also looks like they're just going to rope me out. Nice. Which I don't understand. You're playing citizens and Adeline. You're you're playing the the uh, one of the precons that maybe you've upgraded or something. I don't know what the issue was playing my deck. I'm just artifacts. It's not like I was countering all the spells. We're just gonna rope it out. So. Just sucking for some reason. I don't think I played that match too slow. I think I was pretty, pretty quick. So, hey, they decided to play. Look at that. Mm, might actually be worth it to play this on turn three.
Nah, th that's still probably the best play. As soon as it puts me up to four. That's a soldier? It is, too. Look at that. Alright, well. Um... So, yeah, I think I'm going to play this. Okay. No decks. Hmm. Land lets me play Urza in the other patchwork, which is pretty good. Uh, looks like this is coming down next turn. So... Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't have been able to cast it that turn. That's funny. Okay. Well, let's cast this. Could do Vigilance here. But, yeah. <laughs> Good game. That's funny that I think I only have... There's only one of that in the deck. So... Strange that I drew it both games, but hey. Ooh. Cool. Take another look at the deck list here. Oop. That's not the deck list. This one. Um. Yeah, there's only one. Neat. Probably means there could be more. Um, uh, alright, we're gonna play another game, since that was a non-game. Um, oh, I do want to make one quick little change. So, three and ten. Okay, let's change this. Planes. Land. Two, three. This is technically mid range, but it's probably not. I, wouldn't, I guess maybe it's not classified as mid range. It's probably more uh, blue white artifacts or blue white Urza. Blue white non control Urza. I think Depopulate's an extremely important card in the format. I think it's going to keep lots of decks down. Yikes. <laughs> See where this deck already needs to change. Probably going to have Thalia. Are we blue white control? Yeah, we're blue white control. It's fine. Do, do, do. So they can make disappear this, but it still gets the counter. Blue white control. Probably with the um, removal spell that looks one mana. Well, I think it's mana cost. So the number of planes, so they would need two planes out. Cool. Uh, play the field of ruin. To Cesaret, they'll probably counter this again. Okay. No one's coming to see. They could have the. Uh, they could bounce it, fading hope, I suppose. Oh, yeah, okay. They're just soldiers, then? Okay. Land would be great next turn. Ha, you still know nothing of my dreams. Mm hmm mm hmm Sure. 
sure. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Probably out of line now. Oh, what are we playing here? Wow. You go. Nice. Um, what are the odds that they have? They, they have three mana, so it's they have the one that pays a one to counter it. Uh, all right, let's play this. Actually, it's three, I think it would cost. One, two, three soldiers. Okay. We'll do this. Sure. Blue white flash soldiers. Sure. Can I still activate this? I don't think I can activate this. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm in I'm in a bad spot here. I'm basically tapped out against a deck that doesn't ever need to tap out, so. Sure. We'll get another planes. You're gonna get the Okay. Still have a counter spell up, so there's not much I can do about that. will concede if they actually have another counter spell. So actually I should have played this because I would have stopped the make disappear. Yep. Cool game. Cool story, bro. Uh, I have no chance against that deck whatsoever. So we got to bring these in. This is out. This is out. This is out. Uh, Tezzeret is out. Uh, and Emperor is in. This is about as best as I can do against this matchup. Ugh. Sure thing. I assume they had that counter spell. Uh, but this doesn't particularly matter. This is not a good matchup for me, but we're going to play it out anyways because that's what we do. Uh, yeah. but maybe I shouldn't have turned it into a creature, but I think to be able to block, I think it was necessary. The Cathar Commando that they have is basically the bane of my deck, so... Doesn't really matter. Um, just gonna pass here. This is nothing I want to see. So let's play this out. Just pass the turn again. Mm. 
We could have another uh, fading hope. Sure. Spell again. Alrighty. How much do I have to pay? Or I don't have the option to pay it. It was three mana. Why couldn't I pay three or four? How many do they have? Four? Ah. Okay. Actually, I probably should have played this. Uh, let's get an island, I guess. Um, do, do, do. either have it or you don't. Cool. Yeah. Wow. See if I can keep drawing more lands. That'd be great. <laughs> Good timing well let's throw this down not that it matters oh. uh, well that was a mistake Seven. So okay. ooh, ooh. Well, that's kind of rough. Let's play this.
No attacks in the turn. Draw some cards. What would they have at green? Probably the, the King Darien, I'm guessing. Probably should have waited on the surge engine, but yeah, I just need it. Whatever. That's bad. That's okay. Well, they drew anything. <laughs> Got them. Okay. Uh, so. I think. Oh, I did take those out too, didn't I? Try this. I, I, uh, I guess I probably shouldn't take out the Might Stone and the Meek Stone in this matchup, but I can already see tons of holes in this deck just against a random aggro deck. However, it is a tempo aggro deck, so that's a lot different. These are all lose, lose, lose. Wow. I have to hope I draw land. Nothing else I can do. It's really, really rough. Yeah, well, I drew a land. That's fine. The unfortunate thing is them having to pay three mana for the automaton doesn't seem to slow them down at all. To use, like, Fading Hope. I am going to block. Um, okay, so they tapped out. Uh, no blocks. Interesting. Just 
gonna keep wandering emperor up. think that was the right move even though they can attack I suppose or they're not going to they just pass okay you may it's not even a may okay it's not even a may wow Not even a May ability on this. Sure. Yep. It's not all I could do about it. I unfortunately don't have any target for this. Doesn't look like they're playing anything that I'm worried about. Yep. Now they could cast that, I suppose. Um, just put a counter over there, I guess. Much else I can do. Mm. You can't use their own Wandering Emperor because they wouldn't be able to target because of Ward. They can trade though, that's fine. Could have something to bounce it back to, I guess. Yep. That's fine. Yep. There's nothing I can do against that. I'm at a severe, severe disadvantage. Oh, now it's game over. <laughs> mm, now it's just game over. Not blocking. Until next time, then. This is basically the combo for the deck. GG's, GG's. That was another terrible matchup for me. Woo, that was bad. All right, I'm gonna keep recording here. On to the next one. Uh, but that's two matches right now that I've seen that the deck has not performed very well. Again, I think this. I think the deck was only like three and two or something like that. So I'm not expecting miracles. Um. But I can already tell, first and foremost, way too many four drops. And there's no nothing to actually get you back into the game. We're going to try this deck again. Give it one more go, and then I'm going to go into the editing portion. Which, like I said, I think I can already see where the problems are. There's no early interaction. You're basically hoping that your opponent's not playing a single counter spell or a single removal spell. that can deal with any of your threats, and you just basically hope to over, overrun them in a way. We will play I'm going to keep this hand this time. 
it's not been very good draws. It's a lot of four, a lot of three and a lot of fours in my opening hands. Not good. A few eights as well. A one game. Tenacious B. Okay. Play the beach. Essentially, you do want, like your opening hand wants to be the automaton. And then everything else after that's not good. <laughs> I think there is a, I think there is a root here though somewhere. I think there's a there's a dichotomy, I guess. Uh, we're playing boggles. Fantastic. Uh let's play this out, I guess. Of course they're probably like, ah, playing a creature with reach. <laughs> Nobody does that. Yeah. Boggles. Okay. Nice. Didn't check. Whoopsie. Uh, I have five mana with this. Uh, I'm gonna keep. Let's see here. If I play the bank buster. Yeah. It's probably my best play. No tax. And the turn. Don't really have much to do here. I could have played this, but I uh, probably actually, you know, it was dumb. I should have played one of those. Yep. Boglies. Cool. Another deck like this. <laughs> Which I have no hope of beating. Because I'm just straight tap out. <sighs> sure. Yeah, it was definitely a mistake not to play a land last turn. I only have three cards, so. Ooh, that's interesting. I definitely have a counter spell. There's no doubt in my mind. Yep. Big surprise. <laughs> Uh, this deck is not suited for this type of matchup. It seems like when I play a new deck, I always play against the decks that I'm absolutely going to perform the absolute worst against. Just going to keep blocking. We try growth. GG's. Not resolving another spell there, so... Doesn't matter. This is trash. This is trash. This is trash. This is probably okay. Uh, we're going to put a bunch of negates. And we're going to put populates. Actually, lockdown might be okay too. Um, we're going to get there. Yeah, it's not, it's not a good matchup. This type of deck. Definitely not a good matchup for me. So in comes all of the Artifact 8, which is, again, one of the problems with this deck, with this type of deck. It's just there's so much. There's not a ton of Artifact 8 out there, but there's a lot in green. Okay. We go automaton, spider into meek stone again if I curve out with some land. Likely not gonna happen though. <sighs> Problem is I'm paying four and five mana spells and they're playing two and one mana spells. So no much of a chance. I also think I I think I made a mistake by not playing the land that turn. But we'll see. Well, no, I definitely made a mistake. I should have played a land. I wouldn't be able to use both of them on that creature, so didn't particularly matter. Okay. And, of course, now I'm going to do absolutely nothing. I'm just going to play this. Uh, 
Come back. Mm, they definitely did make a mistake there. They didn't even look. They just said, okay. So that means it's unblockable. Perfect. Does it get vigilance too? Blocked. Okay. All right. Uh, well, they have Geist Snare, which they can't use. Um, all right. It could have Spell Pierce here, maybe, but sure. Oh, I guess it's still only one mana. Okay. I guess it's still only one mana. I forgot about that. I forgot. All right, it's enchantment in. Yep. GG's already. Look at that. GG's already. Super fast. <laughs> uh. I'm 100% on tilt. <laughs> Just to play against two of these decks that I have not played in the last, like, five days is 100% tilting. <laughs> 100% tilting. But again, it just shows weakness to this style. I hope standard is not devolved into these these types of matchups. It's going to be the worst standard ever. Boop, boop, boop. Didn't attack that time. I need to not dry land this turn. I need to have a slight better curve, not so many lands. Well, let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Sure. Um, on the on the gate that. Go be down. <laughs> well, it wasn't a land, so still only about five to one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How do they take two counters? Okay. Bank Buster. Truck mm, card. Okay. No attacks. Uh, 
my guess is here they're going to allow them to die or they're going to try to counterspell it. Wow. Sure. Unlikely that they have a counter. They could have just drawn one, but unlikely that they have a counter spell here. They do have negate to force the emperor through next turn as well. the churn riveting riveting gameplay here pass mm, I don't have enough oh yeah oh, I think I do actually have enough to uh, sure mm-hmm Ooh, that's bad. Got them. Okay. Those can come out. Um. Yeah. I think. Let's see. That's gonna come down some. Not really a lot I can do actually. Need something that exiles an enchantment, but I don't think there is any. <laughs> what is with this deck? I've never had a deck have this many no land draws. I'll keep that. That goes to the bottom. They'll probably should have went up. So, alrighty. They likely have spell pierce now. If they didn't before. They do now. Yep. Or fading hope still. But. Let's play that. Play this out. Boop. Sure. Can't block it now. And the spell pierce. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. 
Do, 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 do. Today. Uh, is that for, for any other non artifact spell? Didn't even target that creature, but okay. Oh, I guess it protects the enchantment that it's on, too. Gotcha. All right. Not a problem. Yeah, this deck's going to be really dumb. These decks are going to be really, really stupid. <laughs> yep. Not, not a lot that can be done here. Really bad draws here. Sure thing. No land and nothing else that I can do, so it doesn't particularly matter. That's a... Wait. Wow. Yeah, these 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 decks are going to be the bane of the entire standard format. GG's, GG's. What a pile of crap that was. <laughs> wow. Talk about not being geared for a fight. But also showing that you can still play around it a little bit. Just have to be more well armed and this deck is not armed for that matchup whatsoever. Like you need ah, God, I hate when Arena does this. Alright, hold on. Ah. Yeah, it didn't even didn't even finish. <laughs> so uh it did not finish at all, and I I can precisely see why it did not finish. Um won't show the name or anything. Yeah, show that. yeah, so this is the this was the list here. It finished way at the bottom of the standings. Uh, but I still think there's something, there's a little nugget of something here. And it could be card availability. Um I don't think that's this is worth it at all. Uh you got unlicensed hearts in here for no reason. You have Lauren of the Third Path in here for no reason. You have Temporary Lockdown in here for no reason. Um, memory Delusion here for no reason. Um, I think this is... This could be in the sideboard. M you could maybe have a couple in the main deck, maybe. Uh, but I, I would probably swap up the automaton for those if you're going into a different matchup where you need those. Um, so. I think this is kind of where you want to be. Just to start off with, I think this is where you want to be. Um, I think you also want... I mean, you could... Hmm. It's possible that Tezzeret's not in the main deck either. Possible. Um, it wouldn't actually be too bad of a draw, but you're then you're just tapping out too much, I think. Um, there is another. There's a blue prototype as well. So this is what I would do with this deck. Uh, I would actually swap these. There's 27. There was no way there was 27 lands in this deck before. There's not a chance there was 27 lands. Uh, I would go to 25 at the most in this deck. And then 
I mean, you can play like, this is okay. You know, a 3-3 double strike that draws you a card. It's fine. Not the best thing in the world. Um, but I would play... Uh, nope. What's the plane spell called? Lay down arms. I would definitely run four of this. And I would definitely run destroy evil in some number. I think you have to have some way to interact with your opponent. Um, I might even play just four of this. And then I wonder what the curve topper is at four mana here. Let's see we have for artifacts we have anything nothing oh let's see here so we have clay champion which is not that great this is also senator garbage alchemy uh we also have the golden argosy mm, i don't think there's anything there that does anything if search hacker mech though which i would probably put in the sideboard Surge Hacker Mech is not bad. So like if you play the cast this for four white mana. Choose up two other target creatures. This could be the this could be the card that you might want. Don't think you want to populate in the main deck either. Um What else do we have here? Three mana artifacts. There's a Silex. Um, I mean, you can go the whole. Uh, actually, this card. This card would be interesting in the deck. Uh, I had somebody play this against me the other day, and it was actually quite good, and I th think they misplayed it a little bit. Um, maybe just one. And what else do we have here? Um, maybe the Celestis or something like that. Might help to, to ramp up a little bit. Um... Yeah, actually, the Thran Spider actually impressed me in this matchup, in this deck, quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't serve too much of a purpose other than ramping you a little bit and giving you a pretty decent blocker. But this is kind of where I would start off with this in, with this deck, and maybe... I don't even know if you ever want Wandering Emperor in this at all. may not. You may just want, like, straight artifacts all the way up the curb and just have Urza... And this, and maybe Teferi in there is another win condition. Because you do have this too, I suppose. Um, do we have anything? I don't think there is anything at six mana here. Let's see. So that's what I'm using. A Blade Serpent. That's interesting. You also have Temporal Anchor as well. So... Might actually run less depopulates. One less of those. Actually, potentially just run a blade coil serpent there. And play it like this. Because this for six mana and six blue mana. Um I also think Feel the Rune is kind of garbage. And I would play. Uh, Rafine. I would play the Rafine land here. Oh, right. This one. I would probably run that over these. Although being able to destroy the, uh, the soldier land was pretty good as well. I think 25 lands, it's pretty good. This is kind of somewhere where I would go with it. I might even play more of this. I mean, there, there's... the can make a case for actually just going straight artifacts and maybe even getting rid of wandering emperor um 
I don't have more of this, but uh, let's I'm leave it. Uh, I think we're actually going to cut the bank buster out. Maybe the search hacker out. Mm, I think the wandering emperor wants to get out of here. Maybe we go like this. And then maybe we put in... Um, is there anything that exiles here? Not artifact. Not a land. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four. Probably play something like that. All right. So there's the deck. There's the change. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, just put this up as is. You can kind of see how the deck performed. It was not that great. Although it did have, there's some legs here somewhere. I don't know if it's uh, going to stand the test of time or even more testing or not. But uh, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and look forward to some more that's going to be coming up this week. I have a couple other spicy decks that are coming up. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.